Yo, so I'm checking out this game by uh, Cyber Tourist. Um, says he's playing PL and apparently he's Rubik fed a little bit and then they just lost late game, which is surprising considering they have Spectre off lane. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Um, so yeah, I'll just see if there's anything that could be done about it. Um, I'll be honest, I don't play PL like religiously or anything, but I do play against PL a lot, and uh, yeah, I think it shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, one thing is, I think you're against Pudge in this lane, right? Probably Pudge off lane. Pudge Arc Warden. This is very surprising <laughs> lanes for me. Specs off lane and Arc Warden pods for. Okay. That's fine. Starting items are good, I think. Um, the only thing is, if you're not going to go Wraith Band, which some people don't like to buy, you just start Magic, uh, whatever, Magic Stick instead of the uh, Slippers of Agility uh, or Three Branches or something. And the other thing is, you should move your Courier to like here or something just so it walks out of the base faster but not a big deal either way um you guys smoke to play some vision that's fine this is like um yeah let's see what happens actually i hope you don't walk up here this would be a very bad thing to do to like just walk into fog when something's going on down here especially but looks like you're just scouting for wards and stuff, which is nice. They almost killed this guy. Oh, that's a shame. Okay. You actually do get this, which is good. Oh, but then you walk up here, which is bad. So, I mean, if your team is four people bought, you really shouldn't walk up any hills here. You should just go to lane because, first of all, you can die. Uh, so let's say like Pudge is up here on this hill or something, he can like easily just hook you, right? And then you would have to level W, and even after you level W, you can easily die because, I don't know, they can like shackle you, this guy can maybe even like Q or E you or something, um, and you level W, which is very bad, obviously. But even if it's like quite good scenario where, look, this guy hooked nothing, now you're gonna have to fight this guy to get to lane, which is gonna be massive pain in the ass, like, you're not gonna go to lane, you're gonna go to lane on like half health or something now, and... The only positive, like, potential positive benefit is that maybe when you guys form and bot, they didn't go top on anyone. You take a bounce. It's never going to happen. I think you would have to TP uh, now, but let's just see. So, look, you have to fight this guy, right? Because, yeah, I mean, it's just so ass. Because now you have to TP. Like, you have to TP to lane. Okay, you fight him, but now he cues you. And then you lose your thing as well this is not good like just take a bunch of damage this guy look how much regen this guy has in, in in comparison and this is the thing about dota the first wave is so important for how the lane turns out because i think two waves uh plus like one creep ish is level two but if you get denied and stuff then obviously they're gonna get level two first and they're gonna fuck you up right and especially bad if, it, like, because the pause for is not here. So this guy's getting solo XP even. So he's going to be very high level on Pudge. Obviously, the same for you. But look, he's going to get free deny and free last hits on two creeps. Uh, th and there's no there's no point. Like, there's no reason for it. Look, he just gets absolute free deny. He fucks it up even. But, like, you can imagine it would be extremely bad. And it's more like... You can't control how the lane goes for a long time because he could be aggro and creeps backwards. You could deny this range creep even. It's just pretty bad. So right here, you should just attack this Pudge. Because um, Arc Warden is a very useless laner, obviously. There's a very good reason no one plays Arc Warden support. Or anywhere, to be honest. Um, and you know he's like half health from fighting you on runes, right? And your Rubik is actually showing up from the back. You know he's level Q. It's kind of used to spell against uh, Spirit Lance and you're in lane anyway. This Pudge is definitely going to go for this ranged last hit. 
I can't click it right now, but it's about half health. So all you have to do right now is right click this Pudge and he's going to panic and he's going to start attacking this range creep or something crazy. And you can do like, I don't know, like 300, 400 damage. This guy has one armor. And look at his items. He's bought no stats. So you could do so much damage to him here. But I think you're just going to right click your own creep here. Look, you just right click Pudge. You just right click Pudge here. You would get to deny anyway because you're the one who put it into last hit range for him basically but it's like they're very weak look how much damage he ended up taking anyway from just three rubik autos and 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 one from you this guy could be like 100 health right now with no salve and you could like completely free farm this lane you shouldn't just like when you play carry you shouldn't focus so much about you know I, i'm just gonna last here and and stuff like this you know you should want to you should want to harass and things and like all, all of these autos are, 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 are bad, like, so, okay, so this creep is nowhere near dying, right, 278 health is nowhere near dying, and again, they're so weak, all you have to do right now is walk up and hit this podge, like, once or twice, for free, because he's going to be on this, you just walk to where this creep is, and then when he walks up, you hit him, because what's he going to do to you, exactly? He hits every 1.5 seconds, you hit every 1.29, you hit like roughly the same, and you have three more armor than him, and you know, your Rubik is a much stronger hero than Ark, so you would just fuck him up completely, and your spell is better as well, because he doesn't miss. Like, look, now you hit him again, and you hit him again. That would be three hits, it's like free 120 damage, right? It's better than one CS or whatever. Even here, I would have done the same. This guy ends up dying, I think. He's gonna get hooked, isn't he? Okay, close. So it's not good that your Rubik is like like your Rubik is not playing well, I I have to say. But there are many cases where uh, you could have definitely made his life easier. So there's a very good reason this fight is so bad. Let me uh oh sorry about this thing I'll play it. Okay, so first of all, we shouldn't really one v two ever because even if you get this kill, you're gonna die and. Trading core for support is obviously bad because then the pudge gets... Like, it's all about where the wave is, right? Like, if you get this kill, you get, what, 200 gold? And then pudge gets 200 gold for killing you because you're not surviving this. You don't have W. And then what will happen next is the pudge will push this wave in. And then while you're dead, this entire wave will go under your tower and you're going to miss one wave. And then the pudge will be level 3 and you're going to be level 2. So that's, like, extremely bad. And the other thing is, the wave is in a very safe place for you to farm right now. So there's no reason to do random bullshit and just, like, you know, like, basically, like, what what's the point of this? You, ju you just want a kill. Which is fine if it's free, but it's, like, extremely not free because it's 2v1. And also, he's not even that low. He's, like, 250 health, right? For, for PL, that's really hard. So let's just see. The other thing is, if you are going to do this stuff, which you really shouldn't, you should at least tango. I think I said this before, but the tango is like 180 healing over however many seconds, 16 seconds, and it's uninterruptible. So over the course of this fight, you would have like 60, 70 more health or something crazy, right? Okay. Like, look, you would you would be like 50 more health, 60 more health. Maybe you win. May Like, you would, at the very least, you would survive, but maybe you win. But yeah, crazy. Crazy. Like, this is... um. You actually bait the Rubik in as well. Like, this is 100% your fault that the Rubik dies here, even. Because you guys want to... You just want to fight them. And then, like I said, if this Pudge was good, he would push this in, and he does. And look how much CS you miss. Now you're level 2 with 54 XP against level 2 with 291 and 177. And this guy is 25. So you're so far behind now. Um, and it's just... It's so, it's so, like, ridiculous. Like, it's so pointless. The other thing is, as I said before in another video, the, um, okay, so now you're going straight Midas, um, which is fine, I think, like, this lane should be very, like, you guys should stomp this lane, I think, is the problem, like, you guys, you should be buying Wraithman power treads and just killing this Pudge over and over again. Because, like I said, he has one armor and his support is useless against you. All you have to do is get, like, level 3 or something, put a point in your doppelganger. And then, um, 
he like every time he does this, you just purge it off, right? If he does it on Ruby, you can even send an illusion to help him. But yeah, I mean Midas is like okay, I guess at best. But very, it would be good to buy Magic Stick in this lane because this guy leveled E, so. Okay, no reason to pull this under your own tower. Wave is in a perfect spot right now. It's extremely safe. The Pudge can't walk up. He's half health, right? If you pull this wave under your tower, it's now going to push out into them, which you do not want. Because look, now, now the next wave is going to come and it's going to push out into them now. Slowly but surely, this wave will now push into them. And there was no reason for it because they have they are they aren't pulling or anything. Look, he gets the two creeps here. Okay, so you guys are trying to get the flower on Rubik, and you're just holding this wave, which is fine. But look where the wave is now. Same same thing. It's same thing. First of all, the reason that you are forced to fight here is because the wave is in a crazy place because you pulled it under your own tower. If if it was a little bit closer to your tower and they tried to do some stuff where they pulled the creeps, you just go on them and kill them. Next thing is, um, right here, you're down a level against the Podge um, because of the first blood thing. And this guy is taking a, a, like a, like a Lotus. But I think you guys can win this fight. So first of all, you need to you need to eat a tree. You need to tango, like for sure. And also you need to focus Pudge in this fight. Because um like the 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 Arc Warden, like this is the thing. Even if you kill Arc Warden, you're not gonna survive this because the Pudge will just end up rotting you to death. Like you have to kill the core first in this case. Uh, you just have to look how much damage he's taking, by the way. It's it's a joke. Like he's one armor, he's getting completely destroyed. You have the this thing, right? And this guy's coming to help you even. He, has, he can like heal you with the Lotus, right? But you run straight away. Look how much damage the Rot is doing to you as well. You, you run straight away to uh, the Ark. And now this guy can't help you with the Flower. Like he can, he can use this on you and heal you. But now you're out of range. And all the damage you did on Pudge is now wasted, right? Because now you're on a different target. You have to try and kill this guy now instead. Who has three armor. And like same HP, let's say. I think you're also taking flux damage from uh yeah, you definitely are taking flux damage. When you were next to creeps before. And look look at look at the damage split. Guy bolts the pudge as he should. But everyone is on different targets. It's harder to dodge hook as well, even. Uh when you're not in the trees. Do you die here? Surely not. No. But like it's it's fate worse than death, right? Because you're 20 HP. But look, the Pudge is the Pudge was one three eight with seven stick charges. If you just stuck on him, you would have won this fight with a tango. Because you would have you would have not taken so much damage from Flux. You probably wouldn't have got hooked, and the Rubik could have like lifted and uh, and flowered you. I don't know if he flowered you actually. I think he might have flowered himself by accident. Let's see. No, he did flower you. So that's good. That's good by him. And obviously, if you had like a Wraith band instead of a Midas thing, right? This guy is dead now on Rubik, I think. He's just dead. You should run in here and help him. Yeah, it's good. But uh, here, it's replay bug, but there's a ghost here. You should just tango another tree so you don't have to run through the ghost. It's worth it. Just tango this tree so you can run through without tanking the ghost. Because this could, this could be extremely bad for you if you die. Okay, so now all we have to do is not feed. Because look how big the wave is. You can get all your ex all the XP in the world. You just drop a salve to your Rubik and uh, ask him to TP in or something like this. But w worst case, we level W, right? We can go on him. Oh my god. It's actually a free kill. Oh, but you're like just last sitting. Okay. Okay. Okay, so so what what's different? What's different here? So earlier I said you shouldn't do crazy bullshit when uh, like there's a big wave under your tower, but here you definitely should go on Arc Warden. Why? First of all, the Pudge is dead, so he's definitely not here. This is two v one, right? 
Second, they have absolutely no chance of killing you because he's zero mana. Even if he did have mana, his only good spell you have purge for. So it's a free kill. He's very, uh, like, he's completely under your tower. Like, completely under your tower. This guy has lift in two seconds and a grenade and whatever. And if you get 270 gold, like, okay, you might miss, like, four last hits, let's say. Maybe. But you would get 200 something gold for killing him. And you would get all the XP as well. So... This is a complete free kill. You just go on him and you lance him. And this guy lifts him and grenades him. And it's he's dead. But you, you missed this last hit anyway. So Look, he's, he's still trying to do it. But yeah. I mean, now it's too late because the Pudge will have TP'd in. Yeah, the Pudge TP'd in. He gets hooked and he dies. So like... And he grenades the wrong way. Okay, that's fine. But the thing is, in your post, you said that... The Rubik is like feeding him, feeding non-stop, even though I asked him to play safe, safe to get level 6. But it's not Rubik's fault. Like, bo oh, I think Rubik's died three times in this game, right? I think all three of these deaths are not necessarily his fault. Like, I don't think this Rubik has played badly at all in this lane. The first time he died because um, you went on Arc Warden for no reason, and you died, and he died to try and help you. The second time he died... You went on Ark Warden for no reason. And he died to try and help you. And he gave you the flower and everything. And then just now, you should have gone on Ark Warden, but you didn't. And then he died for you, basically. Like, okay, maybe he shouldn't have, like, committed so hard. But it was it was a complete free kill, from, from my estimation. So, and, 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 yeah, like, you're just so weak in this lane because you don't have items. You're just buying Midas. It's, it's, it's like, it's really bad because... The lane is so easy against Pudge. Like, Pudge is such a weak laner. Like, look at him. He's 802 health, one armor, and he, all he has is Ring of Health, and all they're buying is regen. If you have Treads, uh, Treads Wraith Band, you would never lose a fight in this lane, ever. You get Midas when the lane is, like, very difficult, right? You have no chance of killing them against, like, Dawn or Primal or something, and you just have to go jungle super fast. But this lane, all you have... All, you can be winning this lane. It's just bad gameplay. Like, you guys are just making mistakes, you know? It's not necessarily... Um, like, the lane is impossible or anything. Right now, the lane is very difficult, obviously. But we, you should go pull. Like, you shouldn't be just sapping XP here. Because it, it, you should... You, like, while the Rubik is dead, you should go to the small camp and pull this. Or pull this large camp to, to this wave. Because you have to fix this lane somehow. Um, but instead, you're just doing nothing. Okay, so you pull this. If you can pull this here, just keep aggroing the creeps as well. So it, when they do stuff like this to aggro the creeps off, you have to just right-click them again, and then the creeps will re-aggro onto you, like the neutral creeps. Oh, interesting. I think you tricked them, right? Uh, it's not good enough, I guess. Ah, uh, the game is, like, super bugged right now. I can't see shit. Hmm... What, what about this fight? Is this fight winnable? Probably not. Um, yeah, it's quite difficult, I would say. You would probably have to doppel over here so your Rubik can help you. Ah, but you doppel like up. Um, and then you, like, trick him with the illusion, which is cool. At least I think so. Yeah. But the rot, the rot just does too much damage, right? The AoE rot, it just does too much damage. Yeah. The thing is, like, you can't, you can't take fights like this if you have a build like this. Um, because if we look at the net worths, this guy is 2200 net worth, and you're almost the same, but in reality, right, you are 1k net worth. Like, you are the lowest net worth in the game right now, because you have 1k gold in the bank on PL. So you're the weakest hero in the game. So you can't take any 2v2s. If you had Treads and Rayban, you would kill these people, like, 100 times. Uh, like, 10 times out of 10 you would win that fight. So n now it's over, right? Like now now we have to just give up on, on the lane. There's 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 no point even coming here anymore. You should just go to the small camp and pull it and farm the small camp for level 5 and then farm this camp or whatever. 
just give up. This lane is not happening. Every time you woke up now, you're just going to die. Because they, they got the Vanguard now, even. So you have no chance of killing him. You're going to get, like, what? A few last hits every wave, if they're if you're lucky. But probably not, even. Look, you guys, Vanguard, he's just going to walk him and fuck you now. Let's see. And again, you're still going on this guy. Pudge goes on Rubik. Zeus ulted. And look, you're just getting one last hit every like every two waves. You're getting like one or two last hits, and you're taking 500 damage for it. Like literally, just go here and start jungling. It's it, like the lane is over. There's there's no chance. Look, I mean, look at this. This is fucking. This is so sad. All right, so probably gonna have to walk base here. After you finish walking base, you should just buy three tangos and just start jungling. Because, like, trying to get level 6 from lane right now is, is just suicidal. Like, there's there's no chance. Guy has Vanguard. Okay. So we TP back in to the lane. And uh, Rubik is trying some bullshit. But it's just, it's, it's just not fucking possible. If this guy has boars, he would turn around and kill you both. With his Vanguard and his stick and his E and whatever. Okay, so now I would farm this small camp or this medium camp. Okay, it's good. Just trying to get your Midas. It is what it is. Okay, so this camp, then this camp. Oh, the, the Zeus ult aren't helping either, huh? Alright, so we kill this thing just so it doesn't disarm you. Cool. I mean, it's very sad, right? But it is kind of what it is. Like, we already <coughs> talked about the lane. I think, yeah, it's a lot of mistakes, for sure, in the lane. This is fine. You're trying to just get some last hits. That's, you know, there's nothing you can do about that. That's fine. He just dies. You see, now the Rubik is playing bad, obviously, because he's being delusional. Like, he thinks they can, you can still win this lane, but it's, like, very over for a while now. But before, I don't think I don't think he was playing badly, really. Midasing the small camp is insane, bro. Like you need XP so badly, and this shit, this shit is like like you can just walk over and Midas the large camp. Like you get so little XP from that Midas, it's really bad. The reason people buy Midas on PL is for XP because people are buying Midas on TB and PL a lot right now because they send out the illusions to go farm waves and then the illusions don't give you XP if you're out of XP range, right? So TB, PL actually tends to fall behind a bit on XP against Luna, Sven and stuff like this. So that's why they buy Midas because you have very good talents. Like this one is crazy, this one is crazy, obviously. But it's for XP, it's not for gold. And the attack speed is nice, obviously, but... Okay, so... No, no reason to buy boots here. Much more efficient to buy either Band of Elven Skin or uh, Gloves of Haste. It makes your jungle much faster than Boots will. Right here you have the Mighty Mines, which is nice. Okay. So, after this camp, should not join any fights. Should not join any single fights. You're so useless with Midas and Boots and whatever. It's so, it's so like, not going to happen. Should just go straight to this wave and just farm it. But even this is quite scary. I think it should be fine, actually. Okay. Farm this wave. Okay, so while stuff is happening on the map, you should push out this wave. And then back to jungle. Yeah, back here. And then over here. I swear to God, you need to not Midas this uh, creep, though. You need to Midas a large creep here. Oh, yo, yo. <laughs> what is this? I mean, this is like the most gold you can get, but <laughs> I mean, it's, uh, XP becomes gold later because you have better uh, skills, right? Like, more stats. Um, should have stacked this camp. Should use your lance a little bit more as well because you're like basically full mana and it helps you clear a little bit faster, so why not? Or at the very least, you should doppel from camp to camp. Like here, you just doppel up here, right? Saves yourself a little bit of time. Why not? It would be better to jungle into here, but I guess the razor's here, so... Now you go here, and you stack this at 53 if you can't kill it in time, which you probably can't. Yeah, you should stack this, but okay, not a big deal. Then this camp, then we go up here for the wave. Okay, good, you might just, do, like, just double down, nice. Stuff is going on, so push this wave now. 
you should have a TP as well. If you had a TP here, you would you would never die to this guy. But right now, if he ults you, you would die because he has defusal and it would like stick onto the correct uh, PR basically. Like just buy the, the TP, and right here you should buy like something as well, blade of lacrity. I guess point boosters. Uh, what what did you buy? What is this? Oh, okay. Right here you can just stop over as well. I I'll stop saying it, but just remember like use your spells when you're jungling. This is like intreds, top over, it's very uh, fast. Right here, you should not farm up here. This camp is extremely far away from everything. You should go here, farm this, and this one, and this one, and this wave. If your spectre comes here and he wants to farm this shit, just tell him to fuck off, basically. Like, I am the carry, you can fuck yourself. You should Midas the large centaur, but I'll stop saying that as well. Just always Midas the large creeps. You need XP on this hero, like, extremely badly. Uh, Aghanims would be better this game than Diffusal. I don't know what you're buying. But it's like quite inefficient to make this run. It would have been better to just farm like these three camps or these four camps in your main jungle. But uh, yeah. All good. You can probably do some stuff on this uh, PA. You can stack this as well. Uh, guy died on Rubik. Okay, this is fine. So we have to go over here now and farm this. <laughs> you love Midasing the small creeps. I think this must be from some guide which is like, oh, the, mo the small creeps give more gold, but you know, I think I think that's wrong. I mean, it's correct information, but it's like wrong thing to do, really. Right now, you shouldn't be fighting. First of all, you don't have your defusal um, or anything really. And plus, look how big this wave is, like two waves. It would give you like level 12, 100 gold. Oh no. Look look how huge this wave is. It's like 300 gold or something and the Rubik just farms it. Just always keep an eye on where the waves are. That's where you need to be farming. Like look, look how long you've been standing around here just waiting to fight. Like you shouldn't really be wanting to fight. You're playing PL with a Midas. You just need this game to go late. Just keep farming waves. Whenever you can farm lanes, farm lanes. And if you can't farm lanes, then farm jungle. But... Lane's obviously a lot better than uh, jungle, so push this. After you push this in, it's like hard camp, small camp, this camp, this camp, this one, and then down here, this one, this one, this one, this one, right? And then you go back round. It's like the pattern, but you went up instead. So it's just like about the efficient pathing as well, right? As well. Because this is not as efficient of a path as what I described, because there's more walking and less hitting creeps. So right now, if I know you by now, you will go up here, I think. Okay, good. It's good to not go up there. Because now you can do this, 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 doppel for a wave, and then this, 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 right? This is like the sort of normal pattern, I think, that you should do on PL. And most carries. So doppel down here for the wave. It's really good. Look how much look how much more gold and XP the wave is compared to jungling. It's so fast. You actually missed the uh, flag creep, which is unfortunate. Okay, now you have Ags, you just start lancing. Like, lance this, and then and then go jungle. Alright, good. Again, it would be better to go bot here. Especially because your Midas... You, you, okay, I'm going to stop talking about Midas. And then this thing. Uh, some stuff is going on. Your team is actually winning the game, so that's good. Up here. Okay, it's fine, I guess. This one. You can stack this as well, again. Yeah, you should just stack, like, just... You, you didn't take this room. <laughs> okay. Start lancing as well. Just start lancing. This shit will help you clear so much faster. Yeah, nice. Good. Again, you might as a small creep. Go over here, lance this. Lance these two ranged, and then start farming this. You don't need to stay with your illusions. But... Would be better to farm this. Make sure you don't block your own camp. Good. Enemies are showing. Just push this into this camp. Lance. Just lance this. Lance this. W up. Buy clarities if you need. Would be far it would be better to farm this camp. Again, lance is cooldown. Should lance this. Nice. Just lance this one. They're actually trying to gank you right now, but UW, 
which is good. Okay, it's really good. Really good kill. I mean, you're definitely very good at PL, like uh, like the W stuff. Like I I think in terms of like mechanics, it's it's fine really. It's more about like decision making and stuff that's kind of poor. And the farm is good, by the way. Don't get me wrong. Two hundred thirty something CS minute twenty three is quite good. It's ten per minute, right? Basically, but I think with the sort of hero that you have, it could be like you know three hundred, three hundred thirty or something. Like just it's all about spell usage and just buying clarity. Like clarity is a fifty gold, and it should make you fifty gold, right? Like more than fifty gold, and it's it's all about the XP as well. I think that's the other sort of major thing. I don't know if anything happens in this game even. Oh, this is like kind of... Yeah, okay. So this is the first time you do some crazy bullshit. Like, farming here is just insane. Like, you have so many camps still up. Like, this one, this one, like this... Look at this whole wave. I would just TP top right now and farm this wave under my tower. But instead, you run to mid-tier 2 and get killed. Like, there's no way going mid-tier 2 is a good idea. Look look at look how much creeps uh, go under your tower now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... Maybe 789 is all. Strike to CS, so that's good. But it would have been like so much CS missed, and your Midas is uh, up as well, so you could have farmed all of this. No reason to go tier 2 until you're like extremely strong and ready to fight and stuff, right? A little bit of a throw. Your team ends up like chain feeding off of it as well. Spectre cleans up a little bit. So right now, the entire enemy team is dead. We should just push. If the enemy team is dead, we should just push. Like waves. This Windrunner could technically kill you, but you would kill her first, I think. You are, like, much more uh, farmed. So the enemies respawn now, but they're showing. So you should just go here and push. You can kill this Arc Warden thing as well. For 200 gold or whatever. Look at that. 240 gold, 240 XP. Very cool. Right here, you should maybe push a bit more as well, because they showed the podge. I don't know what this PA is doing. I think he's AFK. <laughs> I... Yeah. Okay, it's good. Good kill. This game, you should definitely get, like, Mage Slayer, I think. Because Mage Slayer is quite good against Pudge for Rot. And it's quite good against Zeus, obviously. And it's quite good against Arc Warden as well. And I see it quite a lot in, sort of, like, by the PL players. Like, they like to buy this item. A fair amount. Heart is obviously decent as well. You could also get like Silver Edge for PA or something, but nah, probably, probably not great. MKB PL is pretty bad in general. Orchid is a bad item, I think, on PL this late into the game. You can get Orchid like a bit earlier to like kill people, right? But everyone's gonna have BKBs and purges and stuff by this point. You guys are pushing. But 31 minutes, no one's done Roche. That's like the other thing that's quite sort of surprising. You guys should play bot side now to try and do Roche. So you can get yourself an Aegis so you can siege like easily. And then like instead of Orchid, you could have Heart Aegis. And then you can just siege permanently. Like okay, it gets you a kill here. But like the guy didn't even need to die really. It's more about how to like end the game at this point. Than like trying to get more picks. On, on the enemies, right? Because if you get Aegis and a Heart and you have, like, these heroes, you can just, like, sit in front of your Pugna and let him blast, and then the game is going to end. Like, it's going to be over for them. But instead, it's just kind of farm fest. And late game, you know, anything can happen, really. So, 35 minutes, probably, just do, like, tell your team to do Roche top. It's pub, so you probably have to say, like, to your team what to do, where to be, you know, just generally try and do Roche, obviously. Good idea. Yeah, this item is quite ass, I think. I think even, like... Well, I mean... I guess it's good against PA. It's it's okay. But the heart the heart would be a lot better to get first, I think, is, is my point. Like, heart, mage slayer, and then bloodthorn in that order, I think, would be a lot better. Because now the game is, like, kind of just going crazy, right? Because... Because no one's done Roche in 37 minutes. Like, how is that even possible? When there's a team with PA and the other team has PL. Like, it's quite surprising. So th this game is just going to end up being some weird coin flip. 
like late game team fight, I think, basically. Yeah, there's like way too much bullshit happening in this game. Like they're gonna do Roche now, right? At 40 minutes, they're gonna do Roche and they're gonna get Aegis and they're probably just gonna win the game off this, I think. But uh, you got 25 talent, I guess. It's cool. Kill the arc. It's nice. Okay, you get you get the ages. It's good. But he's very strong. He's like crazy strong, bro. Oh, don't fuck with him, please. Oh, nice. Okay. Okay, good. It's really good. You guys got the ages and all the kills and stuff. But again, you're farming. Like, when the enemy team is dead, you should like push the waves in, right? So at least they miss some waves on the tower and you get some tower damage and stuff. This is maybe too much jungling at this point. Not enough farming. I mean, not enough pushing waves. Okay, you guys got the Tormentor now. Nothing happens here. He haunts on like an illusion or something. Okay, so some fight is going on. Let's see. Blood Thorn. He BKBs it. You kite him. It's good. He's getting leashed, I think, by the uh, Razor. Okay, really good. So now we should push. While the enemy team is dead, we should just push down mid as 5, I think. Or something. You can just walk here and hit it. There's no way you die with these items and their team is dead. But you fucked off. Okay. I mean, this guy can haunt in, right? So you don't need him to be here, necessarily. Like, you're so strong. Like, uh, with the only one that can kill you this game is probably PA. And even that is, like, I don't know if that's even true. I don't know what you're buying right now. Is this MKB? This has to be MKB, right? Oh, no, it's this new, new item. Uh, okay. Sick. So now you should push this. Like, look, all enemy teams are fighting your team. You should just push this tier 3. And, like, when they come to kill you, you just topple away and stuff. Like, right now, what are you farming for? It's just, it's just, like, you don't need any more items, really. Like, you should save your buyback more than this. 100%. It's insane that you don't have buyback when you're, like, literally six-slotted with Ags, Boar, and Shard. And <laughs> you should definitely have buyback, I think. And then, yeah, it's doing this shit with no buyback is quite suspicious. So now you should just farm buyback and wait for next Roche and end this game. That's all you have to do. Buy, bu farm buyback, do Roche with the cheese, and end this dog shit. Pick up an Aegis instead of the boots. And then, uh, and then yeah, go push. Just go siege. Just send illusions, hit towers. Eventually you'll win, right? With the Pugna. How do you guys lose this game? I'm so confused. But if you're, if you're not telling your team to... Come as five, then you know it's your fault as well, because like it's shit pubs. Like you have to sort of make some calls, right? Okay, I mean that's quite ridiculous, really. <laughs> uh, how how does this happen? So you see the Zeus, he has hex though. You run at him. Yeah, okay. I mean he has hex, and you're like kind of just diving one v two. So you're gonna hex. Two more times, right? No. Okay, but some fight is happening. Good. Oh, Jesus. No buyback? Oh, you have. Barely, though. Barely you have buyback. Yeah, and then they, they just win the game, I guess. Yeah, they catch you with hexes. Oh, never mind. So how do you lose? I guess you just die and then you don't have buyback and then your team just just loses, right? If I had to guess. Oh, 
Oh my god, my guy, you're diving them or something. You have no buyback. What are you doing? Bro, you got you gotta you gotta relax here. You have no buyback and you're doppling in. Like, okay, we're getting all the kills, but they have buybacks and you don't. And it's outside, the, it's like in their base, right? Look, you're getting completely smacked up by Zeus. And now you're hexed, and GG. Okay, so, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the problem, right? In lane, you didn't, you didn't lane well. You should have used your tangos before fighting. You should have kept the wave in a better place. If your support isn't pulling, you should pull yourself. If they're in a good place to kill them, then just kill them. If the wave is coming under your tower and there's no reason to fight, then don't fight. Never pull the wave under your own tower for no reason and ruin the equilibrium. When you're fighting, try and kill like the core before you kill the support, if possible. Or like focus same target, at least. When you're trying to link up with your Rubik to fight, you should like try and doppel towards him so you guys can 2v1 instead of like doppling away and whatever. Um... Like, in terms of items, against weak lanes, you should definitely go, like, Treads, Ray Fan, and just fight them. If you're going to go Midas, then don't try to fight them at all. If the lane is ever in a situation where the guy has Vanguard and he's, like, 6-1 or whatever, just give up on the lane and just go jungle. Like, it's going to feel really bad, but it's better than whatever happens uh, over here. Mid-game-ish, uh, when you're jungling, just buy clarities and keep using your spells, like, non-stop. Uh, check out the jungle path. A lot of the times you went to that, like, top-right camp on... Uh, on Dyer, that's like very inefficient to go kill. Uh, use your spells way more, like lance the wave, lance the creeps, lance the lance the everything, doppel everywhere, right? Just use your mana, switch the intreds if you have to. Um, when you use your Midas, definitely Midas the big creep. Always Midas the big creep. I think you can watch any replay of any carry player, they're going to be Midasing big creeps all game long, especially on PLTB or whatever. Maybe they Midas small creep on like Sven, whatever, if they buy Midas for, the, for whatever reason, but you need XP on this era. Midas is for XP usually, on, on carry at least. It's maybe for gold on support and stuff, obviously. But um, yeah, uh, that one time you ran down mid tier two, you died. That one time you ran down mid tier, top tier two, you died. Um, so that's like, throwing the game obviously and then the only thing is like you need to communicate to your team like i'm very strong we need to go roche we need to get ages we need to go siege them and then yeah only other thing is late game you didn't save buyback which is just crazy and then item choices you should have got heart before uh before this item you should have got heart here heart mage slayer heart mage slayer ages minute 35 25k net worth you just go high ground you send your illusions to go tank they can't really kill them quickly because of heart and then the guy just sieges with pugna and then and then if they fight you then you go in and then extremely late game uh it's really bad to just dive them like non-stop like that uh, in their fountain because they're gonna buy back and kill you so yep that's pretty much it